Is it ready? Is it filming? Yeah. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the first test of the two phase helium stats. Hello, I'm Professor Alistair Smith, and I'm doing research into solar robotics. This here is a 20 pound Maplin robot arm, and all I've done is I've just basically insulation taped a mirror onto the top of it. This one's controlled by brushless DC motors, and at the bottom you have a terrible problem with um, backlash. This is my own heliostat I've built out of stepper motors, which are far more accurate, and it's taken a while to work out how to control them. It's been controlled from this Bellman card, which is much bigger than the robot's card, because a stepper motor requires a lot more circuitry to run, and I'm trying to run two stepper motors, but at the moment only the horizontal axis is plugged in, because the horizontal and vertical axis stepper motors use different voltages. Anyway, here's my demonstration. So if you look on the computer now, I can control two heliostats from the same computer. So from the robot arm here, I'll be able to use this from the keyboard, and this one here from the uh, Bellman. Now, first of all, I will show you the robot arm one now. Please look over there where the light is. Over here. Now, as I press these keys, you'll notice that the light here is moving left and right. And you see there's a lot more wobble when the light moves, and also the light tends to move quite inaccurately. Now I will just compare this with the second most basic system that I've been constructed out the test on. And the one at the bottom over there, as you see, by the wardrobe, is going to move very, very slowly. Now, if you keep filming it, you'll notice that the light is moving across the wardrobe very slowly and very accurately which uh, concludes my test that um, the step motors are far more accurate for this sort of task. So if you want to beam light energy over a long distance, it's far better to use step motors, albeit it does require um, more circuitry and um, some step motor algorithms to get the step motor to run. Because like a DC motor which is just complete circuit left, right, this thing goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and uh, activates one of its four terminals and it will go as a squeak step. Uh, this also has an advantage of a step-down gearbox. Now the Robotson also had a step-down gearbox. However, with the step motion, you can move discrete steps. And as you see, it's very, very slowly moving across. And there's very little backlash as well. Okay. Well, you've seen that it's moved from left to right very, very slowly, which means that it would be ideal for uh, following the sun, and also very stable. You don't see it wobbling around much. Shall we conclude the test?